Hey guys, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is episode four of T3 Terminal Tip Tuesday. Now, of course, this will help optimize and maximize your workflow, and it makes it very, very easy to use. Now, this week's terminal tip is very small and very minor, but it's one that after a few weeks, you honestly can't remember having lived without it. So I ask that you enable it and use it for a little while. You may not see much use to it in the beginning, but once you've used it for a few weeks, seriously, it's something you're going to love. Also, I'm using a new microphone, so be sure to let me know how that sounds in the comments. Now, built into OS X, uh, there is this very handy window navigation system. Now, also, and a more modernized way of navigating is with a track wheel or a track pad or trackball, whatever, um, the Magic Mouse does a very excellent job at it, but the problem is you can't get extremely precise. And sometimes arrows are simply the best way of doing things. The reason I can think of using this is uh, in coding, when you're just trying to very slowly scroll through stuff, it's a little bit better than scrolling because you can scroll too far or something like that. And it also is very good when you're doing really fine Photoshop work and you need to move into a place or move it just a tiny bit without totally jerry-rigging it with the track wheel. So this is a terminal tip that is very handy to use and definitely optimizes your workflow. Now built into OS X, there is the slider on the bottom, up and bottom, and it goes with priority of rightmost and downmost. So uh, your arrows are always down in this quadrant of the window. Now, that's handy, that's great. There's an up and down, they're all in the same spot, but oftentimes you want one over here. Now, in OS X, you can also place the arrows at the top and the bottom, but the problem with that is when you wanna go one step up, you have to drag your mouse all the way over. Now, that doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's definitely not as easy as quickly clicking. So what I'm going to show you how to do is take this format and this idea, but implement it into both windows. So get both up and down arrows in both corners. It's very handy, very useful, and I very much like it. So what you're going to need to do is open terminal. You can do a spotlight search for it, or you can also find it under the utilities folder in your applications folder on your Mac. Now this is available and works for every OS X operating system above 10.2. So it doesn't matter if you have a new age computer or if you don't, this will work on your computer as long as it's not from 1984. I'm kidding, but I'm serious. Um, so what you're gonna type, and the code is also below, so you can paste it in there if you so choose, but it's defaults, write, quote, apple global domain, all in capital letters, and then apple scroll bar variant, double both. You're gonna press enter, it doesn't look like anything happened, but in fact, something did. You're then going to type kill all, capital F-I-N-D-E-R. And your finder will kill itself. Um, without doing that in the same window, it won't take effect. So it's very important that you do kill all finder. Once you've done that, you will notice that there are arrows in both areas of the window. So you can navigate whichever screen you're on any way you so choose. It is really handy. I do really enjoy it. It's a little bit funky looking, but you will get used to it. And after a few weeks, you'll realize that you couldn't have lived without it. This is Quinn, that's Nazi iPhone guy. If you have any more terminal tips, please be free to email me please feel free to email me at thatsnazzyiphoneguy at gmail.com. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.